you think it can impact uh, Oregon State recruiting over there, you know, to have a game, even mm-hmm. though it's here instead of over there? But. Right, well, uh, I mean, just being from Hawaii and making it out to a uh, Pac-12 school or the mainland, anywhere in the mainland, it's big for anybody from Hawaii. I mean, a lot of guys in from U, uh, Hawaii go to a UH because it's home. I mean, it's close to home. They want to stay home, but, you know, just getting out of, Hawaii for a little while and I mean going to another school you know uh, like trying out different life experiences I mean it's just it's, it's a good thing and uh, I think I think uh, you know Hawaii coming up here and playing us is good for them also you know get gets gets more guys to uh, actually like compete and from Hawaii compared to teams in the mainland like Pac-12 teams or any other uh, conference but it's it's going pretty good though and I it's, it's good for them and good for us both. All right, man. Thank you very much. Thanks. Your performance stuck out um, in your, your first start. I mean, first of all, how would you assess your performance as an individual? Uh, well, individually, I try to execute as much as I could. Uh, try to execute the defense, you know, play as a team. And, uh, it's you know, we struggled a bunch of times. Uh, and uh, we just got to overcome the adversity and overcome uh, our mistakes. And, I mean... Overall, I mean, we I feel like we got a lot to learn, and uh, it's it's the next game we're thinking of, and I mean, it's it's been good though. No, obviously you're one of the guys being counted on to help replace Andrew and Castro. Not an easy task. Um, when you look at yourself now as a player compared to maybe last year, what are the differences that you see? Uh, well, over the summer, the team, not just myself individually, but the team. Uh, we all pushed each other to do more work, extra work, time in, time out, getting more extra lifts, extra work out on the field. Uh, could have been anything, but I mean, it's definitely hard to replace those guys. They're they're good athletes and they're smart. So I mean, uh, being here for four or five years now, I mean, the experience is definitely something that that has grown on me and uh, has helped me out to play this position that Coach Joe's having me to play. What do you feel your strengths are? Uh, definitely coming in as a defensive end, I'm the speed for sure. Uh, I'm not the biggest guy, and so I need to use my speed and quickness uh, to slip through tackles and make plays and whatnot. So I'm definitely not the biggest guy, but you know that's, that's probably my probably my strength is my speed. Special game for you this week, even more so coming up after the loss playing against UH. What are the emotions for you? Uh, it's big. Um, family's coming up. Uh, playing Hawaii, my home. So, I mean, it's just going to be exciting and knowing knowing guys on the team, you know, it's just having that chat with each other, like saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to see you in a few days and whatnot, you know, it's, it's, just like, it's exciting to, to see. But Take us into that dynamic. You're talking with guys you used to line up against or across from mm-hmm. back in high school in Ireland. Right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, like seeing, seeing them like now, it's just different, you know, like you see them back in high school, they look maybe 20 pounds lighter. <laughs> maybe faster you know now it's like they're bigger stronger so you know it's like it's nice to see guys you know like putting in the time and effort uh to play this game that we love have any of them maybe kicked you while you're down a little bit coming after a tough <laughs> loss and, and maybe smack talk a little bit yeah definitely uh got some doing? texts from back home uh, saying what happened and like what was going on and i was i just didn't really have much to say i just told them you know it's just the next game we're thinking about and it's something we got to move forward from. Who were, who were maybe some of the guys that you were closest with that played for you? Uh, one of the guys on the, the D-line, uh, Montanguise, uh, from UH. Uh, we played together. Uh, we went to the All-Star game in Hawaii. Uh, we went to a few camps together. So, like, he's probably – and uh, Jordan Poo Robinson. Uh, he, I played high school football with him, and uh, – He's, he's one of my good friends. I still talk to him this, to this day. Uh, we hang out every time we go back to Maui. So, I mean, he's a, he's a good friend. And, I know, you know, it's just, it's just that competition between each other. He plays offense, I play defense. So, I mean, it's just one of those things, you know. Um, coming off last week, did you as a member of the defense take that loss personally? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a whole team, you know, sure, it's sure. just... I mean, as a defense, when you guys talk about it, did, is it sort of just a sense of pride, like you guys look back and that's now a sense of fuel for you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it definitely fuels us. I mean, they came in that day, played their best game, and, you know, we we couldn't, I mean, we couldn't execute their, our defense like how we should have. Uh, 
you know, but it's definitely a learning game. It's uh, first game, you know, got the jitters out. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're getting ready for this next uh, this next game coming up, and it, we're looking pretty good right now. So. When you look at what happened, was it the missed tackles? Was it the line maybe collapsing and losing containment? Was it the second? Not, I'm not putting it on secondary. What do you feel like the biggest issue for the defense to correct for this week is? Uh, I'd say everything, actually. Uh, pursuit, uh, coverage, pressure on the quarterback, our passing lanes, uh, pressure. Uh, on the quarterback lanes, I mean, we can't leave any lanes open and whatnot. So, I mean, it's just overall, you know, defensively, we just need to play as a team more and just execute our defense as best as possible. A couple more for you. Um, you talk about working together as a team. Last year, talking to guys in the D-line, there was this chem they talk everybody talked about the chemistry. Um, do you feel like you're still trying to find that? Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's chemistry is some, you know, like game, game time. You know, we didn't really have, like, a really game feel yet, so. It's definitely something we're working on, but I mean, I feel like we're getting better at it every single day at practice. So I mean, the chemistry is getting there. We just we just need to find uh, find that vibe with all our whole team and our defense. You know, we just gotta on the sideline. We gotta be ready and we gotta be into the game and focused. So I mean, that's the main goal. And last one for you. Uh... UH is an offense, obviously a big quarterback in Graham, more uh, pro-style pocket guy than you saw in Adams. What do you see from them? What stands out about UH on film? Uh, they're definitely downhill runners. Uh, they're not really downhill. I mean, they, they have like, their stretches and whatnot to get you going from sideline to sideline to keep you honest. Uh, but it's definitely not as much of a threat on the on the ground as far as a quarterback. So it's one less thing we need to worry about. I mean, so. But it's still, I mean, it's still going to be a tough game. I'm not, I'm not putting anything on them, but uh, I'm just saying that as, as that, it's, it's a different offense. You know, we, we got different schemes and whatnot for them. So, I mean, we just got to go out there and execute the defense.